Blob team. This is T Blob back again with another video. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's 2023. Yes, 2023. We're in. So I'm so glad that we made it, you guys, those that are here watching. God is good. So I want to say before I start talking on this video, what I'm about to do, I want to say like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Keep it on all so that way you can get any and every uploads that I bring to you guys. So I'm going to do a little twist this year on my cooking videos. Yes, I'm going to try my best to do a little more twist, not just in ingredients, but also when I bring my videos, I may just start doing a voiceover. That way you guys can catch what I was saying based on what I'm using for its measurements or whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to try my best to start putting the measurements down in below. Okay. So you guys can know how much I use or what. Okay. So this is what I'm getting ready to do today. Okay. I had a piece of a hen. Uh, chicken, the, the breast part of the chicken from Christmas that I put away in the in freezer and then brought it back out. So what I'm going to do is take that and I'm going to make my famous chicken pie pie. Okay, guys? Yes, chicken pie pie. And so I'm going to have a little bit of different vegetables in it this time. So that way we all can just truly enjoy it. Okay? So this is what I'm about to do. And I'm going to show you guys. So the next part of this video, you will hear me doing a voiceover. And then we'll get into it. Okay? All right. Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to come to you guys and show you guys how I'm chopping up my carrots for this chicken pot pie. And if you guys enjoyed this voiceover, Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like for me to continue doing more voiceovers when I do my cooking. Because sometimes when I get in the kitchen, y'all, I just be over the place and forget some ingredients. So, <laughs> I think the voiceover would be good. But if you like them, let me know because I'm here to please. So, I have here about three carrots. One was a pretty large carrot and... The other two was little bitty carrots, so I decided to just chop them up and show you guys what I'm doing here. Now, I have already chopped the carrots, and plus I had like about a cup of broccoli, and I decided to chop that too to put it in the pot pie. Now, I'm going to rinse these vegetables, and the reason of that is because these were fresh vegetables, and I like to make sure that they're clean. So, I'm just rinsing them off real good after I have chopped them and make sure that there's no... Uh, grid or germs or anything on you know? them. Um, you know, you can't trust those prepackaged vegetables. So, <laughs> so I just start our wrestle and bring you back over to the preparing of the pot pie. I have a little small piece of red onion here, about maybe a, a one fourth of a piece of red, a large red onion. And I decided to chop that and put that also into the pot pie. There's no way that you want to chop your, your vegetables. You can dice them like I'm doing mine, or so you can puree them, whichever one you want to, to add into your pot pie. I've seen people chop theirs all the way up in the food processor to to put in their pot pie, just, you know, kind of trick the kids that they're not eating certain vegetables, you know, and they are eating them into their pot pie. But, hey, that's cool. Whatever works. So now I've got all my vegetables diced up, those that were fresh, and put them into the bowl. Now I'm going with that little piece of chicken I told you guys that I had left, the part of the breast, which is the white meat. If any guys, if any of you guys know what I can do with the skin, comment down below and let me know what I can do with the skin. I basically discarded the skin on this chicken and threw it away, but I was going to give it to my dog for a treat, <clears throat> which that would have been a great treat for him. But if there's anything else I can do with it, just leave a comment down below. So I had some little pieces of bones that were still in here too. So I had to remove the bones and stuff. As I go chopping, you see right there, I was removing the bone 
So I decided to dice these up in nice little chunks so that in each bite you get a nice chunk of chicken. And I love making homemade Popeyes, guys, because, you know, um, I just just like making them. You can diversify your vegetables in there. You can put different types of vegetables in there, whatever you like, and make it different, you know. And, yeah, I love making homemade Popeyes. Chicken Popeyes, turkey Popeyes. I even take the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, and I make turkey Popeyes, which is the best to me. And, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm picking at this bone, little piece of bone that was in the breastplate area. Trying to get all the meat off of it. <laughs> and now I'm, I've chopped it all up. Now I'm going to place it on in here with the vegetables. You can also, and I meant to say this, you can also saute your vegetables. Put your chicken in a different bowl, though. Um, I wish I had to saute my vegetables a little bit. Uh, more because my carrots came out just a little crunchy with a little bite to them. But see, I like that. Most people may not, but I like it. And, um, yeah, so um, I decided to just put hey it guys, all in there together. So I'm still putting this Popeye together. I had to stop and go pick up my daughter's friend after I got through prepping. So when I went into my freezer, I realized I only had one pie crust left. So, we're going to make you do with the one pie crust, okay? One pie crust. All right, let's get to it. So, now I'm showing you the corn, the cream of chicken I had, and the cream of mushroom that I will be putting in this Popeye. Yep, one pie crust. <laughs> and we got frozen peas here. So, I'm getting ready to put all my chopped veggies and meat into this bowl. And I told you guys in the beginning... In the middle part that I was dealing with one pie crust. But, hey, in this pie pie, you didn't miss the second pie crust, which is the base pie crust. So, I'm adding those sweet peas in there. If I had to say about the cup, it was about a one cup of sweet peas. And uh, probably one, about two cups of carrots. And I added a whole can of corn. And that was sweet kernel corn. And I added... Uh, chicken, it was probably about a cup and a half of chicken. And broccoli was about a cup of broccoli. So, and the onions was about maybe a half a cup of onions. And this was because it was a large a pie pie. Now, what I'm putting in there now is smoked paprika. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. Um, a teaspoon of um, garlic powder. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of onion powder. So now I'm about to incorporate my black pepper. So I'm cracking up at least about a, a teaspoon of cracked pepper, black pepper. And I did not add no salt because of the cream of mushroom and the cream of chicken it has enough salt in it for me. So I did not add any salt. So this is the cream of chicken I'm going in with. You see, I'm shaking that can pretty well. You know, come out and plop like that. <laughs> yeah. So and then I add a little water, about a cup full of water in that can. And so now I'm going to add my cream of mushroom. And the reason why I added two types of flavoring, you know, creams, is I usually normally just add cream of chicken, but because I this was because I was making a large pan of a chicken pot pie, um, I needed the extra can, and I didn't see in my cabinet. So you know, you can always alternate cream of mushroom in your pie pies with cream of chicken if that's all you have. Just make sure you season it. Okay. And uh, 
So now I split that can, that one cup of water up into two, in the two cans. So that was just to get all the, what was left in the can with the cream of mushroom and stuff. All the good stuff. And so now I'm cleaning the can out, <laughs> getting all my stuff out of there from the cream of mushroom. So I proceeded to incorporate everything together. I like to do this with my, my Popeye's just mix everything up in a bowl and then put it into the cat in the casserole or the pan before you know mixing everything up and you know what this recipe also is good for slow cooker yes you could put it in the slow cooker and just top it with some biscuits or some biscuit uh dough filling so i added a little more water so by this time it's like maybe one and a half cup of water that's going into this here and that's just because we need a little more liquid because we don't want I didn't want it to be dry or um you know so I had the rest of the little half a cup of water in there discarding the cans and now I'm showing you the Pyrex pan that I always use this here for any casseroles or baking meals that I'm making so I'm spraying the base with some extra virgin olive oil spray. And the reason of that is because I do not want it to stick. Now this pan, this Pyrex does not stick. It does The food doesn't stick to the bottom of it. But I do that just for safety precaution because I've had this Pyrex for numerous years. <laughs> and I use it for like all like my one dish meals that's going in the oven for baking. Not all of them, but some of them. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just placing this in here, and uh, that looks good, guys. It, it was tasty, very tasty, even not being cooked. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just making sure I get all that good, good out of that bowl, every bit of it. You see, I come back with a spoon. <laughs> So now I'm getting ready to put it on the cookie sheet um, just so for not to boil over. Oh, no. No, not yet. Oh, I got to put my topping. <laughs> so my one pie crust, I just break it up and lay it on there on top. You'll see how I put it on there. Let's see. Just lay it on top and make sure that and then I cover all the little open spaces with the crust. And uh, this is an easy way to make it without, if you don't feel like making up in your pie, you know, pie dough filling or whatever. But, yeah. Now, now I'm going to put it on the pan, a cookie sheet, just for like spill proof, you know, just in case it spills. I'm going to spray it with a little olive oil on top so it can get golden brown. And then you put that in your oven for about an hour and 20 to 30 minutes on 340. Or you could put it in there on 400 for 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes, I'm sorry. 45 minutes to an hour. So you basically want to lower it for about an hour. If you want to know, I made this here delicious chicken pie pie and what's all in it follow me over at simple meals by t blog that's right simple meals by t blog space the wording oh, you guys. so you can Here's get this delicious dinner. recipe chicken pie pie, pie. Mm -hmm. we got broccoli carrots peas corn all that good stuff check out the video y'all watch the whole video and those that have not seen it my facebook fans go over and check it out and see what i did on this chicken pot pie and you can add any vegetables you choose to it love you guys <laughs>